Hello, 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 welcome back. This is Frankly Speaking, and I'm Frank. Today we are continuing our intermediate English lesson. We're continuing from lesson 1.2, and we'll be describing clothing today. Now remember, if I'm speaking too quickly for you, turn on the subtitles, they're down here. And lower the speed, it's also down here. So, fashion vocabulary. When we describe clothing, um, we want to describe it as specifically as possible. There's a lot of vocabulary that we can use to describe what this person is wearing, for example. Now, I think he's wearing uh, quite stylish clothes. So if you describe him like this, you might not be really capturing uh, what he's wearing. He's wearing a shirt a tie, a brown jacket, sunglasses, and a watch. Well, can we be more specific? This is not very specific. Um, all of these things are uh, very generic and um, not interesting for the listener who is trying to understand your description. So, I'll give you an example of how you can make this a better description. Let's say he's wearing a button-up shirt, a navy blue tie, a leather jacket, dark sunglasses, and an expensive watch. How's that? Much better. Uh, you, you want to try to describe as much as you can about each article of clothing. Now, in the last lesson, 1.1, I explained to you how the order of adjectives works and how you can describe an article of clothing by focusing on uh, different aspects of the, the article of clothing. And I'd like you to um, think about that now and look at this girl. Look at what she's wearing. And I'm going to ask you to pause the video and describe her clothes using order of adjectives and as much interesting vocabulary as you can to really describe what she's wearing. Okay, let's continue. Now you could say a lot of different things about what she's wearing. Um, I'm describing her in a somewhat simple way, but I'll use some, um, some vocabulary words in there to make it quite specific. She's wearing an orange sweatshirt with a logo, ripped light blue jeans, and white sneakers. Okay, it's a very easy description. Um, I didn't use a lot um, of adjectives in this, but do uh, take note that when you have two adjectives describing the same thing like this, you should put a comma between them. So her jeans are ripped and they're light blue. So we say ripped comma light blue jeans. All right, let's look at another person. Look at this girl. I'd like you to do the same thing again. Uh, think about what she's wearing. Think about the order of adjectives and try to think of the best way you could describe what she is wearing. So pause the video and describe her clothes. Okay, let's see. Now, I described her quite specifically here, uh, but still using simple language. She's wearing a loose white long sleeve top, a long white and yellow checkered skirt, pink high heels, some shiny colorful earrings, and a small brown back. How's that? I think that's quite specific. If you closed your eyes, you could picture her from what I described here. So, thinking about these guys, um, you have some more adjectives here to help you describe your opinion about what someone's wearing. Um, I happen to think that 
This is kind of an old fashioned style, but they're also very stylish and trendy. Um, these guys are quite trendy too. I wouldn't say they're stylish. I don't think anyone, maybe this guy's dressed, it's kind of awful, an awful yellow suit. Uh, all right, if you can describe these people, use some of these adjectives and you can write your description in the comments. All right, thank you for watching. Remember, subscribe, like, and follow the lessons to improve your English. All right, have a lovely day. See you soon.